Well, they're referred to incorrectly by many as simply Ozempic, but new weight loss drugs have so many names, and we're also learning their impact goes far beyond just weight loss. Yeah, you know, this morning, our Dr. Frank McGeorge walked through the many benefits of these drugs. Well, tonight, he's back to break down some of the negatives. Yeah, that's right, Karen and DeMond. So their actual name are GLP-1 agonists. Now, they're sold under brand names like Wagovi, Zepbound, and Sexenda. Now, without a doubt, these new injectable weight loss medications have revolutionized weight management, and they have a wide-ranging benefits across the body. But they are not harmless, and understanding the potential risks and side effects is essential for anyone on these medications or just considering them. We do see nausea um, in up to 40% of patients, and we have seen some patients have to stop the medication because of the side effects. Dr. Brian Ginnabaugh, a Henry Ford Health gastroenterologist, points out intestinal problems are common. The biggest and one of the most that I see patients for is when they experience symptoms that are related to the GLP-1 effects on the stomach itself. The GLP-1 actually does inhibit gastric emptying, which means it actually slows down your stomach. And when your stomach is more full and not processing food, the patient oftentimes has symptoms, and those symptoms might include nausea, vomiting, bloating, abdominal discomfort, and fullness. And that's why Henry Ford Health Chair of Anesthesiology, Dr. Michael Lewis, cautions, if you are on a GLP-1, that needs to be considered before any surgery or procedure, because if your stomach is not empty... It presents a risk during the perioperative, during the, any procedure you're having, because we give drugs to... Uh, decrease consciousness and inhibit the, re the protective reflexes that each of us has to prevent food moving from the gastrointestinal system into our lungs, which could be obviously a devastating event. Dr. Suki Singh, a Henry Ford Health obesity medicine specialist, says there are other even more severe potential problems. There are rare cases, cases where you can have a hypersensitivity reaction to the medicine, may have um, an anaphylactic reaction to the medication or pancreatitis is a side effect. Um, that's when we can't restart that medicine again. And so there are instances where the medication is discontinued because of a medical side effect. Henry Ford Health dietitian Allegra Pacano says, although eating less is part of the point of GLP-1s, she sees other common problems because of it. One of the biggest side effects that come with these medications is a loss of lean muscle mass. We know our lean muscle mass is tied to increased metabolism, um, better immune function, uh, better just quality of life outcomes in general. So when we lose that body fat, we're also losing that lean muscle mass. So eating enough protein is going to be really important to, to help maintain that. She also emphasizes the importance of increasing fiber intake to counteract any constipation. And then also sometimes taking a multivitamin so that if we're we're not eating enough one day, we're at least covered with that multivitamin. One final issue comes from Henry Ford Health endocrinologist, Dr. Kathleen Estrada. She wants to remind people, these weight loss medications started out as treatments for diabetes, so they can create blood sugar problems. A lot of people that are obese do tend to have insulin resistance, and so some of them may have what's called reactive hypoglycemia, typically with large carb intake or carbohydrate intake. So if someone does have quite a bit of insulin resistance, really having focusing on low carb diet can really help. So they're not having that spike. And then when the insulin finally does come out, they don't have that subsequent drop that they feel. Now, I think the important thing to remember here is that these are very effective medications, but you should really only use them with the guidance of a specialist who can monitor you for problems and really help you make the critical changes to your diet and lifestyle so that you can eventually stop taking the right. drugs. Yeah, and Doc, you were actually saying that you actually learned a lot about these drugs in the process of interviewing all these experts. Yeah, I did, absolutely. You know, it's fascinating, actually, to see them each from these individual specialists' point of views because, obviously, the weight loss is the focus, but... These are having an effect on the entire body. Now, I've put both of my reports together on the health page at clickondetroit.com. And if you are taking one of these drugs or you're considering it, I really encourage you to check it out. Also, you can watch Hank Winchester's warning about fake Ozempic and his advice for finding the real drugs when they are in short supply, because that is, of course, a problem right now. Supply, demand, yeah, too much demand. I know, he was talking to me about that fake Ozempic, and I was like, I didn't realize that was out there. Well, that's just it. And if, you know, not only do you run the risk of side effects, not only do you run the risk of medical problems related to it, but it's just not going to work, and you right. might potentially gain weight. Right. Wow. Oh, all right. Thank you, Doc. Thanks.